Hello everyone, Penny here from the Junk Journal Ministry, and that's just Penny. And today I have introduced the Grunge Shabby Scrap Journal Page Design Playbook and Workbook number 11. And for this one, you are going to need your junk papers, your junk supplies, your junk mail, any vintage items, paper items that you want to use, um, everyday items that you can use as well. So you need some um, postal stamps, if you have any postcards, vintage postcards, letters, anything like that. Um, you're going to need some cloth, and I'll go over all of everything that you're going to need if you want to create with me, starting with the Junk Journal Playbook number 11. And this is all about using your scraps, your little pieces, and I have a bucket here of some of uh, just my pieces left over. I have a little basket here that's full of just scraps that we're going to use. So this kit will be released soon on the main website. It has the instructions with it. There's the copyright information, but it has the instructions. There's a lot of pages to it. It goes over what page is which and how to construct the first first you have to construct a blank journal or you can do it just by page by page this is to learn page design it does have the workbook worksheets with it um, as well so i'll be pulling those out and you'll be seeing there's examples that i've already done for you as well so you can see exactly what i'm going to be doing and what i'm going to be using here are here is the instructions of the examples and you have an example page already ready for you it's pre-designed um, here is helps and here is the supply list you do and also it has the printable templates the printable items for you to put on your page this is the background page um, that goes on to the base page, the base pages of your journal or whatever. And then this is a page that can go like a page mat can go over. And these are the elements. There's always, there's two pages. There's eight designs. So there's 16 different pages of designs that I've printed on cardstock. Of course, you do not have to use the printables at all. If you do not wish to, all you have to do is get your uh, supplies out and go through and do the prompts. And then uh, here are the supplies that I um, am using to create this page. So you don't have to follow this exactly. Um, it says that the prompt, one prompt here is mushrooms is the example. So if you can see that, I have an example on the layout and a page design. These junk journal page designs, number one, was meant to use your stash. Go through it. See what you've got from your everyday life. Um, from your junk mail, from just whatever you have on hand that you want to work with that goes along with the prompt. You're welcome to use the printables if you want to, um, just to fill in maybe where you want. Um, or if you want to follow me, I will be doing two journals with this kit this, this time because I wanted to show how that you can use this kit, but also... The main purpose is to use your scraps and your junk mail, your junk supplies. I wanted to col to do some layering, and some people will call it collaging, but it's layering on top of, but having a purpose behind that. And the purpose behind these are tucks and pockets where that you can hide stuff like, for, you know, for junk journaling. You can also use items from your everyday life that you can um, incorporate into this. So come along with me, grab your um, scraps, grab your junk mail, grab your junk supplies, um, grab some stamps, and I will tell you the prompts here in just a few minutes. The first one that I'm going to be working with, of course, is mushrooms. So I will see you there in, in the next video. So grab some stuff up from some mushrooms. Um, you're going to need, um, you know, you, you can do, let's see. It says the background base page was just either a junk journal page or a, a signature. You know, you can use an altered book. Um, this is just, these examples were for you to look at these as each individual pages. And you can stick them wherever in whatever journal you want to use. It says background base page or whatever you want to use. 
torn lettering page, rolled up tea dyed paper. You can use any kind of paper that's rolled up. Um, torn, I put torn coffee dyed paper. Um, if you don't have coffee dyed paper, you can use, like I said, any kind of thin paper. Children's book page, mushroom image, music paper, postal stamp, messy circle, string, yarn or fiber, dictionary page, word dictionary page or word list page, um, stamp textile pieces, alphabet card, scripture, word card, and buttons. So there's all kinds of things in this one little page. So come along with me, grab your items, um, and if you are creating in a journal, or if you want to create just practicing your page design in an altered book, or if you want to create your journal like I am from scratch, um, I will be showing you how to create a journal. Just a basic journal. Just a grungy journal. I am using a vanilla, one of these vanilla envelopes. You can use a file folder, whatever you want to do. But this is going to be my base cover. And I have got some Fibba tape. Fibba tape is construction drywall tape. And I'm going to, of course, cover this up with some, I'm going to uh, distress this. And I'm going to cover this up, of course, with some junk papers or whatever paper that I've got. Um, so you will not see the Fibba tape. This is just to reinforce it. Um, and then I have one side will be a pocket. I'm not really for sure if I'm going to do this one as a pocket or not. Because I will be doing the three hole pamphlet stitch in this. So I will, we'll, we will put down cover mats. And we will um, make this alligator mouth no doubt um, because I did not leave any spine in here. So if we have alligator mouth, no worries, right? I may come in here and do two more square marks to make a round spine. We will see. Okay, guys, stay tuned for the next video.